Shall we pray? In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, everlasting God and our Father, we give all the glory to you for offering us opportunity again to be in your presence. Father, we cannot say anything than, O oh Lord, glorify your name through us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So today, I welcome you back to the Time for Higher Promotion, Part 5. The Time for Higher Promotion, Part 5. And uh, it is essential dealing with this time for higher promotion because I have received it without any iota of doubts that this is a time for a higher promotion for the sons and daughters of God. I'm very sure. That is why I'm giving all diligence to treat this because we need to understand it in order to walk by it because we do not want any child of God to be eluded at this great opportunity. Therefore, it is important that you key into it otherwise you will be left behind because after the whole scenario there will be a paradigm shift. After all the problems and troubles and pandemoniums, there will be a paradigm shift. And when it begins to happen, God is telling me that it is a time for higher promotion for the children of God. And uh, you need to be ready because it is for those who are ready, as I have said earlier on. So every child of God that is ready, the Lord will uplift you and you'll be part of those who will be promoted. Shall we see the book of uh, Psalms chapter number 75 from verse number 5 to 7? Lift up not up your horn on high. Lift up not your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck. St speak not with a stiff neck. For promotion. For promotion. Cometh neither from the east. Cometh neither from the east. Nor from the west. Nor from the west. Nor from the north. Nor from the, from north, the south. Nor from the south. But God is the God judge. is the judge. He put it down one. He put it down one. And set it up and another. And set it up another. So you will see. At this time, because of the prayers of the saints, the Lord will put down so many that have been obstacles to divine manifestation of the children of God. And the, all those who are inimical to the growth of the church of God. And the, all that are hindering the growth of the church will be put down. The Lord will put them out of the way. The Lord will remove them out of the way and exalt the children of God and exalt the church because check down through the history. All the kingdoms and individuals that have tried to eclipse and silence the church, all of them one by one have been destroyed and been removed out of the way. So, the ones that are doing it now, notwithstanding, they will get out of the way in no, in no distant time. Because our God is about to do a new thing. He's about to remove all those that are working assiduously to hinder, bringing out plans and agendas that will stop the church. The Lord is about to remove them completely out of the way. The Lord is about to judge them because there are courts, approximately three types of courts. Majorly four. Number one, human court. Number two is demon court. Number three is 
what they call generally as Nemesis Court, Court of Natural Law. And the fourth is a Supreme Court. The first court is a human court where you are reported, human judge sits on the judgment seat to condemn you or to justify you. The second court is a demonic court where Satan and his agents sit to judge anybody that they report to, him, to them. And they condemn the person or justify the person as the case may be. And the, the other court is court of sowing and reaping. Whatever you sow, you reap. And the final of the finality is the spring court, which is the final because it's the final. Therefore, and the, the one that sits upon this spring court is no human, but the judge of all who is a true judge and in whom there is nothing like injustice. This is God that is called the infallible one. He sits at that particular apex court and decides what happens. He lifted one up and bring it the other down. And this judge is what I'm talking about because it is time for him to promote some and remove all those that have been hindering the church because the children of God have appealed to the spring court and this spring court have sat and then they are about to deliver a landmark judgment that all that has withstood the church, withstood the children of God and tried to close down the church of God will be judged and taken out of the way by divine mandate. It is about happening. So, child of God, prepare yourself because you are about to get promoted and uh, make sure you are part of the whole thing. The name of God be glorified in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. That takes us to point number six. Point number six. And in this point number six, what is the quali your qualification? What is your qualification? Because before you get promoted, you must have qualification. If you do not have qualification, you cannot, good qualification that will suit where you are going. You cannot be promoted. Let us see. First Samuel 17, 33 to 37. And Saul said to David, And Saul said to David, Thou art no, not able to go against this Philistine to you fight You are him. not able to go against this Philistine. For thou art but a youth. You are just a small boy, a youth. And he, a man of war. He has been a man of war. He has a quality. He has a qualification. He had the credentials. From his youth. From his youth, he has started fighting. And David said unto Saul. And David decided to present his qualifications. He decided to present his credentials. He decided to present what makes him qualify for the job. I therefore want to ask you, if you are to be promoted today, what will be your credential? Are you repositioning yourself? Are you putting up measures in place? Are you training and retraining yourself? Are you getting yourself ready for the great positioning? And David said unto Saul. And David said unto Saul. Thy servant. Thy servant. Kept his father's sheep. Kept his father's sheep. And there came a lion. There came a lion. And a bear. And a bear. And took a lamb out of the flock. And took a lamb out of the flock. And I went after out after him and i went out after it and smote him and smote him and delivered it out of his mouth and delivered it out of his mouth and when he arose against me and when he arose against me i caught him by his beard i caught him by his beard and smote him and smote him and slew him and slew him thy servant slew both the lion and the your bear. servant slew both lion and the bear and this uncircumcised this uncircumcised this time shall be as one shall of them. be as one of them seeing that he has defied oh, Oh, this is the now God. David, after presenting his credentials, he now presents the reason why the Philistine must be defeated. He shows the enough reason, 
a convincing reason why the least time must be defeated and be destroyed. This uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them. This uncircumcised Philistine must be as one of them. Seeing he had defied the armies of the living he God. He had defied the what? armies of the, the living armies God. The armies of the living God. David said, moreover. And wait. David said that he had defied the army of the living God. And what God does that mean? He has defied the children of God. The children of God are the soldiers of God. The children of God are the soldiers of Christ. Therefore, anyone that have insulted the children of God, anyone that have uh, 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 abused the children of God, anyone that tries to hinder the children of God, anyone that have been speaking down on the children of God, all of them are the Gentile soldiers. All of them are the Philistines. All of them are the evil man. Therefore, I want to tell you, it is time for that Goliath that have been wrecking and the wrecking havoc and the ranting before you. The time has come when he will be taken out of the way. And someone, someone must do that. Someone, someone must take up the responsibility. And the person must be you. I mean you. You. You must do it. David said, moreover. David said, moreover. The Lord that's delivered me out of the poor. Now, David was not going to this battle by himself. David says, moreover, the Lord who had delivered me. David started with his testimony. David told his testimony. Why he is qualified for the job. Why he is qualified to get on and take on this man called Goliath. He told him that the Lord are not looking at the physical weapon. Are not looking at the free, phys only free, physical preparedness. And looking at the Lord who gave me victory. Oh, from the power of the... From the out of the power of the lion. The lion... And out of the paw of the bear. Out of the paw of the, the bear. He will deliver me. This my God will deliver me. Out of the hand of this Philistine. Out list of time. the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said. And Saul said. Unto David. Unto David. Go. Go. And the Lord be with you. And the Lord be with you. Listen to me. The credentials that David presented was much more quality than that of Saul. Much more quality than that of all Israeli army. That much more quality. And backing it up with the power of the Lord. When the Lord arises to serve his people, who is a gentle soldier to stand against the army of the Lord? The Lord will rise. The Lord will rise for his people. The Lord will deliver his people from all the evil men. All the evil secret courts. Satanic courts that are Gathering themselves, planning and putting up an agenda. The Lord is seeing them. The Lord understands them. Because the sons and daughters of God have gathered together in holy prayers and reported them to the spring court. And the court of heaven has sat because of them. And they have deposed them because he put it one down and lifted the other up. This is a time... Because the gentle soldiers have taught the tale of the lion. And therefore they can no longer escape. It is time up for them. Time up for them because God has stepped into the case of his people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, every child of God listening to me. All of you under the influence of my voice. Prepare yourself. For your God is about to move into action. And when he moves into action. Let the army of the living God join him in the battle. Because the Lord will fight and give you victory. That is our God. Thank you, Father. I trust you, Lord. You are bringing to them to pass to your own glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I ask you, what is your own qualification? What can you present before God? What can you present at this time? Prepare yourself. Because your testimony is about to begin. Your manifestation, David gave his testimonies and gave also confidence that he trusted in God beyond any reasonable doubt that this God who delivered him, he still delivers 
and we yet deliver. Therefore, your God is neither sleeping nor slumbering. Therefore, God will come for you and rescue you from the hands of the wicked and the hands of the terrible and deliver you safely and plant you into the promised land. And you will enjoy the power of your God to protect you. Unlimited. Yes, it's unlimited power. Thank you, Father. That takes us to point number seven. Point number seven. The scary words of satanic propaganda. The scary words of the satanic propaganda. First Samuel 17, 41 to 44. And the Philistine came on and, and drew the near Philistine unto David. Came on. came on and drew near unto David. And drew near unto David. Uh, after Saul have by himself told David to go. God be with you. Now, then, as David was coming out, as David was coming out, he wasn't with normal weapons. He wasn't with normal armor. He wasn't with normal qualification. He didn't see anything that qualified David for the battle. He didn't see anything. He was disdaining than David. He was angry that they, they can bring this kind of person out. The Lord will raise the foolish things of this world to insult, to defeat the so-called wise men of our world. That is it. Because the Lord used David. The man saw him and said, what? What is his qualification to come against me? But the qualification is in David. The qualification is in David. The qualification is with David. He can't see because he's a carnal man. A carnal minded man cannot understand anything about God. Therefore, he was seeing David as he was coming. Then he said what? And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him. He for, disdained him. For he was but a youth. He was but a youth, number one. And ruddy. And ruddy. And of a fair continent. And of a fair continent, he did not look rugged and rough like a soldier that he should. Come on, what is this insult? A young boy, well fed, that Jebo, as we call it in Nigeria, just young boy, very, very well fed, and uh, like looks like a sport child because the last born. And then he looked at that and said, Come on, he's not rough like a soldier, it's not rugged like a soldier. I was not talking like, a, Come on, what is this? Come on. And the Philistine said unto David, The Philistine said unto am David, Am I a dog? Am I a dog? Oh, come thou on. comest to me with staves. You are coming against me with what? Staves. Staves. Stick, and, simple stick. And the Philistine cursed David by and, his gods. And Philistines cursed David. Come on. I'm at your I'll be able to destroy you. Uh God destroy you. Come on. These things are no God. Hey, 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 David was still coming. This thing they'll kill him. And the Philistine said to David, And the Philistine said to David, Come to me. Come to me. And I will give thy flesh to the fowls of the air. And I will give thy flesh to the fowls of the air. The of the air because it's close to the air. It's very tall. And to the beasts of the field. And to the beasts of the field. That is the scary words of satanic propaganda. They will tell you things that looks like true. They will tell you things that looks like it's true. If you stand to consider it, you are finished. You cannot consider the propaganda of the enemy. You cannot consider no matter how loud it sounds. No matter how terrible it seems. Because their words is not backed by God. Because the Bible says, Who is he that said, and they come to pass when my God have not said so. So God did not support him. Therefore, his words are nothing. His words means nothing. You are a child of God. No matter what that occult man is doing in your office, no matter what that occult woman is doing around you, no matter what that evil man is doing around you, no matter what that that, uh, that a satanic agent is doing around you, that witch, that wizard, no matter what that worldly man is doing, uh, saying to you, listen to me, you are a child of the living God. We cannot bow our head in cowardice. We are children of God. We will raise our head in high because we come from above and our order comes from above. We don't take orders from anyone. Our God is great. 
Therefore, stand by the power of this holy God. This God will give you victory. In no time, stand for him. Stand for him as David stood for him. Stand for him as David stood for him. Because your victory is not far. It's very close by. If you can stand a little more, the Lord will give you your own victory right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you go further? The scary words of the and the, uh, uh, of satanic propaganda. All these words can come in different way, like a hurricane to carry you away, but stand your ground. They may say things that looks like true, but the Lord is not in support of them. Who is it that says it? And it comes to pass if God did not support it. Therefore, all their words are fake. All their words are nothing. They are worthless. They are worthless. They can do nothing. They cannot achieve God's purpose. If you stand for God, my God will give you absolute victory because you are a child of God. Yes. That takes us to the next point. Point number eight. Positive faith with positive uh, work. Positive faith with a positive work. So if you have faith, faith it's important that you have it. But faith that is remaining inside is no faith. Your faith must be seen at work. What you are doing is that which proves the faith you have in you. If you do have faith, work according to the dictates of that faith you have in you. If you are not working according to the dictates of that faith that you have in you, then something is wrong. It's only faith Without work. But if work is accompanied by the faith you have in you. Then everybody will know. This is what this man believed. And he cannot do the other way. So in faith. When you have faith. And your work must be in accordance with the faith you have in you. So faith. Positive faith. With a positive work. There is negative faith. Negative faith is a faith that you have. Some witches and wizards believe they can do this and do that. Some occult people believe they can do this and do that. But our faith is positive because it comes from above. It comes from Almighty. It comes from the living God. Therefore, nothing stops a positive faith that is backed by positive work. Your work we stand for you. We stand the test of time. We be a record breaker and set a new record in your generation because you must do this. It is the reason why you are here. God will be with you. That takes us to point uh, to the book of uh, James, chapter number two, seventeen to eighteen. Even so, faith. Even so, faith. If it hath not works, if it does not have work, is dead being alone. Is dead being, being alone. alone. Yeah, a man may say, A man may say, Thou hast faith. You have faith. And I have work. And I have work. Show me thy faith. Show me your faith. Without thy work. Without doing anything. And I will show you my faith. And I will show you my faith. By my work. By what I am doing. By what I am doing, it shows that this is the faith I have. If I believe that God will do it, I walk like God will do it. If I believe that I have bind the devil, I walk like I have bind the devil. If I, if I believe that no power can stop me, I walk like I, there's no power can, that can stop me. If you do not accompany your faith with work, the Bible says is dead. Therefore, stop empty proclamation of faith. Back it up with action. Do that which you believe. Act that which you believe. Stop speaking only. Act. Do it. Behave it. Let there be manifestation of power of God through you. And that takes us to the, the book of First Samuel 17, 40. And he took his staff in his hand. And David did not just proclaim my God will give you in my hand. He does, did not just proclaim that God will be with me. He went with what? Staff in his hand. And chose him five smooth stones. He took also physical, physical five smooth stones. Out of the brook. Out of the brook. And put them in a shepherd's bag. And he put it in a shepherd's bag. Which he had. Which he had. Even in a script. Even in a script. And his sling was, with, was in his hand. And he had also a string. And he drew near to the Philistine. He was going near to the Philistine. With... He know that he's going to conquer this man. 
And he had the weapon that we conquer him with him. And he was going with it because he was going for war. War is action. War is behaving. War is acting. Do it, not just say it. Because as you say, you must do. When you finish at the chamber of your prayer, come out and act because God is expecting you to do something. And when you do something, you will crown it with success. And that is how faith we conquer. And therefore, I want you to note, it is time for you to rise. God will give you victory. David arose and acted upon his faith. And everyone saw him acting upon his faith and uh, God supported him. And he was victorious. All right. Then Samuel, first Samuel, chapter number 17, 48 to 47. Add, 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 add your faith. Add work to your faith. Add work to your faith and make sure that two of them are working together. First Samuel 17, verse 45 to 47. Yeah. Then said David to then the Then said David... Thou comest to me with a sword. You are coming against me with a sword. And with a spear. And with a spear. And with a shield. And with a shield. But I come to you. But I come to you. In the name of the Lord of hosts. In the name of the Lord, child of God. You are coming. Tell them that you are coming against me with material things. With, a, with weapons of war. Physical weapons. I am coming against you. In the name of the Lord. The God of the armies of Israel. The God of the armies of Israel. Whom thou hast defiled. Whom thou defiled. hast defiled. This day. This day. Will the Lord deliver thee unto me. The Lord will deliver you, Goliath. Tell every Goliath that have been making noise around you. The Lord will deliver you in my hand. Every Goliath in your office. The Lord will deliver you in my hand. Every Goliath in your, my family. The Lord will deliver you in my hand. Every Goliath in the world. The Lord will deliver you in my hand. I am sure that my God will do it again. Because you belong to the most high God. The Lord will do it for you. And Amen. I will smite thee. And I will smite and thee. And take thine head from thee. I will collect your head from you. And I will give the carcasses of the host. I of will the Philistines. give the carcasses of not just the not just the the the, 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 the Goliath, but the carcasses of the Philistines. Unto the fowls of the air. Unto the fowls of the earth. And to the Back to sender. All that he said concerning David. David returned it back to the sender. And to the wild beasts of the and earth. And to the wild beasts of the earth. That all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. All the earth and all the earth and all the earth. We know that there is God in Israel. And all this assembly shall know that and the Lord. The, all this assembly that have been locked down by your threat. Shall know that shall the know. Lord. Saveth not with sword and spear. That Lord saveth not with sword and spear. But the. For the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. For the battle is the Lord's, he will give you into our hands. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, it is time to collect your victory. Because those places that these people have been occupying belongs to you. Child of God, you need to retrieve every place that these people are occupying. Making noise with it. Children of God, I charge you today. If you dare move, the power of God will go with you. If you dare step out, the anointing of God will confirm it. Because it's time for you to rise and be victorious. You cannot bow for the enemy. We cannot bow for the wicked. We can we collect and we receive instruction from no one. Except from our God. We receive instruction from no one. The devil cannot tell you how to live. The enemy cannot tell you how you will behave. Come on, tell the devil, shut up. I have a great God. Tell the enemy, shut up. I have a great God. And by the reason of anointing, I recover. I come on. I command you. You will fall this day. All you Goliaths that have been threatening the people of the Most High. Because I stand at the altar of God. Lord, you have raised me in order to end up the tra threats of the enemy. The threats of the wicked. The evil opportunity that the enemy have against your people. They can no longer have age over your children. By reason of anointing, I command today, receive power in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.